So here's the thing, when I talk about decision makers, what are they deciding about? They're deciding about things like succession planning. So think about the people who are always having to think ahead, the next step ahead, if they're looking to move maybe, or they're planning for a wider team and the succession planning for that. And they'll be having in mind people that they would like to, to bring up with them. The people that they think have got the relevant experience, the knowledge, the know-how, and have the capabilities to take on that next step, take on that responsibility. So you've got succession planning, you've got hiring managers. So people across the business or even in other companies within your industry who are looking to hire, as well as recruitment um, consultants, so people who you might have built relationships with in the past. You also have your own managers, I mentioned, and your own manager is probably the person who's gonna know you the best um, in all, amongst all of these people. And again, so that is a person in particular that you want as your advocate. You want to have a, someone who really understands you, the value that you bring to the table, the skills set, and has a great impression of you, a good perception of you. So if he, he's aware or she's aware of, of somebody else who's recruiting in the business, that they will promote you, they will advocate for you. You've then got as I said, other people across the business that so could be other managers in different teams and other departments. So let's say you work in finance or marketing and there's a number of different teams. You want the managers or directors of those different areas to also know about you and have you top of mind. And of course, then you've got the people who make the decisions about the salary increases and the bonus pots, because as always, there's a limit to how much is available to be shared around. And so when somebody sits there with that pot of money deciding right how are they going to allocate it out you want to be one of the people who is top of mind for that person so that it's almost like a natural decision that actually that person someone they really want to um, recognize financially for their performance for the value they've brought etc so all of those different areas are relevant all of those people all of those groups are really important when it comes to understanding who you want to be top of mind of, who you want to be influencing and who you want to be visible to.